2,035,000 2, acres of farmland in a region were devoted to growing grapes. By 2012, the number of acres used to grow grapes had increased to 62,000. Find the average rate of change in the number of acres in a region used to grow grapes from 2000 to 2012. Find the linear model for the data, then predict the number of acres used to grow grapes in the year 2025. So we're still doing the same three things, finding the average rate of change, which is the slope, the linear model, which is the equation, and predicting, which allows us to plug in and find the number of acres used to grow grapes in the future 2025. Okay, so our average rate of change is the slope. To have the slope, to find the slope, you will need two points. Let's pull that information from our problem. So we have in 2000, that's our x value, we have 35,000 acres. So that's our y value. In the next sentence, by 2012, x value, the number of acres used to grow grapes had increased to 62,000. That's our y value. Now that we have two ordered pairs, we can use the slope formula to find the slope. So again, the slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Label these x1, y1, x2, y2. And let's plug in. y2 is 62,000 minus y1, 35,000 all over x2, which is 2012, minus x1, which is 2000. All right, so 62,000 minus 35,000 is 27,000 divided by 12 gives us 2,250, and that is our slope we're going to use. So again, slope is the same thing as rate of change. So we can go up and fill in this blank. The average rate of change is 2,250 acres of farmland per year. All right, next step is the linear model. Again, this is finding the equation of the line. We do not have our y-intercept, so we're going to use our point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. We're going to use our point x1, y1 and our slope of 2250. Let's plug in. y minus y1 is the 35,000 equals m, 2250, times x minus x1, 2000. And next, uh, use distributive property to simplify. So y minus 35,000 equals 2250 x minus 4,500,000. And there's a couple commons in there. Last, we need to solve for y, so we're going to add 35,000 to both sides. This cancels, I get y equals 2250 x minus 4,465,000. And you can put the commas in the problem or not, it doesn't matter. So we just found the equation of the line. This is the same thing as linear model. Now that we have that, we can fill in the blank up here. So this does not have the y equals. If it does have the y equals in my math lab, you would just write the right-hand side of the equation. 
If it, if it does not have the y equals, you have to write the entire equation. So here we're going to write y equals 2250x minus 4465000. Lastly, we are trying to predict the number of acres used to grow grapes in 2025. To predict, you plug in to the linear model. So we're going to plug in 2025 here for X. I have Y equals 2250 times 2025 minus 4,465,000. If we do this calculation, we get Y equals Four five five six two five zero minus that four four six five zero zero zero, and that gives us ninety one thousand two hundred fifty. And again, this was solving for y. Y is the number of acres used to grow grapes. So we're going to say ninety one thousand two hundred fifty acres. This was our prediction on the number of acres used to grow grapes in 2025. So this answer will be 91,250.